Hello, I'm Chase Sportsman. Today is February 14th, and welcome back to The Herd News. Today we'll be talking about the wacky week we'll be going on, including the 17th with an early out at 1 p.m., along with the parent teach conference from 2 to 8 p.m. The 18th, there is no school, but Votech is still in session. The 19th, there is an FFA community breakfast, varsity basketball districts, and girls districts round one. The 20th is another varsity basketball districts game. The 21st is no school, and it's President's Day. And the 22nd, there is no school, it is teacher instruments, and there's another ba basketball districts game. <laughs> <laughs> Big smiles. <laughs> Show yeah. your molars. Now on to Peyton. I'm here with Mr. Hollingsworth today to discuss the punishments for PDA on Valentine's Day. So is PDA allowed on Valentine's Day? Uh, absolutely not. What is the punishment for consensual physical contact that is not appropriate for the school setting? Uh, the first offense is principal conference, detention, or in-school suspension, and then after that, it's detention, in-school suspension, one to ten days of OSS. You heard it here first. Do not do PDA at school on Valentine's Day. Here are some examples of how you're allowed to touch your significant alert at school on Valentine's Day. My name is Emma Bohina and I'm here with your weekly drama report. On February 14th is Valentine's Day. And in my opinion, Valentine's Day is not an important holiday. I don't have a boyfriend, so obviously I'm not gonna be celebrating it. And I feel like most people who do have relationships probably will celebrate it, but it's just like a regular old day. Um, love is very important, but having a whole day for it is just, I don't think it's, it's all that great of a holiday. Valentine's Day does not need to be celebrated. Let's take a look at your Valentine's Day weather. In the afternoon, it's going to be a high of 43, and the low overnight is going to be 23 degrees. And love is in the air. Welcome to Cooking with Tammy and Anna. What did you make today? We had hamburgers and tri tater patties. We had fruit cocktail, and we also had chocolate chip cookies today. Yummy. Another question, how did you, how did you clean up? We usually clean up by making sure all the dishes are clean, all the countertops are washed, all the tables are washed, food is put away properly and safely. We also sweep and mop, shut things down because there's going to be a game time, so we make sure that's okay. We restock if we need to. Delicious. That was cooking with Tammy. This episode is brought to you by Maryville Flores. Buy roses for $35 for your Valentine's and check out some colored roses and other assortments. Just off the square in Maryville. Warning, the following clips may contain scenes of public displays of affection. All scenes are staged with unpaid actors for comedic purposes. Some viewer discretion is advised. The job of the PDA police. Protect and serve the hallways from grotesque acts. How do we do this? Physical contact is appalling and sinful, sir. Good, you are officially a PDA officer. Hello? There's PDA in the STEM room. Get off of him. No! I'm okay. One hour later. You're nothing but a no good able cop. Three hours later. You were the one that won that able detective. Not again. Whoa.
Whoa, this is a PDA free zone. That's my bad, officer. Oops. Are no. we all good now? Yeah, you're good. You're good. That's what I thought. Why are you out of class? It doesn't matter. I'll give you a hug if you let me pass. Okay. You had accepted multiple bribes and attacked students. I don't know what to do. That was a slow first few days. Do worse. Sorry, I'll do better tomorrow, sir. Solitude. Snacks. We would like to give Wyatt a box of chocolates, a hug, and most importantly, a big fat Liver kiss. Liver pills and beet juice. AirPods. A magical time, eh? Eyeliner. A bouquet of flowers. Flicker's candle. Date night.